Today we're looking at the oil mill to see if it actually is worth it to run your crops through in FS22. Let's get after it. All right, the oil mill facility. We're going to check out, see what prices we get, see if uh, it's actually worth it. But for right now, I loaded up all the material I'm going to need already in here. So if we walk up here, I have 8,000 liters of sunflowers, 8,000 liters of canola, and 8,000 liters of olives. We go into our menu here. All of it's preloaded. Nothing's running at the moment. So we're going to see exactly how much it's going to make. Now, it does produce the same all the way around. Nothing is crazy. You get two for one, um, or really one for two. Uh, every two sunflowers you put in, you get one canola, or one sunflower oil. Same with canola. Two canola for every one canola oil. So on and so forth. So at the end, we should have 4,000 liters evenly between everything. So what I'm going to do, same as the grain mill, I'm going to test selling the best price on the map and selling pallets. So selling from production, so I'm going to mark all these as selling. I'm going to test all of them, one after the other. Then I'm going to go ahead, go to the train and sell all the same in the train one by one then i'm going to take all of these and put it to storing and then sell pallets the same way best price on the map gets the pallets that's it nothing crazy nothing ridiculous i'm going to reset the map every single time so that everything is the same now i do have a low loader over here which i might use or just convert one of the pallets because it, it looks like i'm only going to get four pallets no matter what because it's pretty even there's no crazy numbers here for two for one if we have 8,000 liters we should get 4,000 liters which would be four pallets so I might just convert one of the trailers and make it into a pallet trailer and then just load it up if you didn't see the grain mill video using one of these is a lifesaver this thing is the bale handler uh, you can find it on the front loader tools. It is great. It works for every pallet. It's, it's fantastic. I'm going to double check it on here, but so far it's worked on everything. As you can see, my, uh, my land did a, a nice landscaping job here. So <laughs> we got a mountain, but that's all right. So I'm going to jump into it. I'm going to start with my sunflowers. And we're going to see what we get. I'll see you guys at the end with the results. All right. Testing is finished. So very interesting. And I believe one was thrown off a little bit by the prices at the time, but we'll go over it here. So let's run down here so it's a little bit easier to show you. So all of these, I had 8,000 liters. The train also had 8,000 liters of each. So when I had it in selling mode, sunflowers sold for almost twelve thousand dollars so eleven thousand eight hundred and eighty nine not bad not bad at all with the train it sold for eleven thousand four hundred and fifty six so roughly about four hundred dollars less so you will make more it looks like from selling in a factory versus the actual sell points but you have to own the factory as well the factories this one is eighty thousand dollars for $400 more, maybe that's not worth it. But as we move into the storing and selling it yourself, now all these do not have a distributing option. I mean, they do, but they don't go nowhere. They just stay. It's basically like storing without the pallet. So if we actually put it on storing, and build up our pallets, sell them ourselves. For sunflower, we're looking at fourteen thousand dollars, a little over. So you're making an extra three grand, almost, just by selling it yourself. So I mean, these businesses do take thirty percent for delivery, and they average out the pricing. Now on this map, the French map here, if we actually go to our pricing for canola oil, sunflower, there's only one place. So it takes that one 
takes 30% off and then gives you that price or sells it for that price and then takes off 30% either way. So we're looking at $14,000 for selling 8,000 liters of sunflower or sunflower oil. Not bad, not bad, but I would definitely sell it yourself. Moving on then, we got canola. Canola, again, 8,000 all the way around. Selling it in the, in the factory was just under 10 grand. Selling it by train was just over nine grand. So you made an extra thousand dollars basically selling it in the factory. Selling it by, by the pallets sold for 11,714. So yeah, you made an extra two grand or at least a grand and a half, maybe a little bit more, uh, selling it in pallets. Now canola has the worst worst pricing for canola oil. I mean, it's a thousand dollars less, a little more than a thousand dollars less. So actually it's a little less than a thousand dollars, but I don't know. That one's a little iffy. Um, just, I would still sell it the pallets if you can do it. If you're selling it from the store, you're still making a thousand dollars over the price. So, I mean, it can't hurt. Is it going to make you the money back for the factory? Eventually, after 80 times, it'll make you the money back. So, olives. This is my oddball. By the way, if you haven't looked at this, and I missed it the first time, if you look at cycles per month, sunflower, 480 or 4,800 cycles per month. Canola, same thing. Olive oil, 2,400, so half. It took twice as long for olive oil. Now, because it took twice as long, the other ones only took one day to cycle through. Now, I have it on one day months. I also have it on normal economy, if anyone's wondering. But I have it on one day months, which means this factory charges you every time a month goes by. So you get charged $60 every time a month goes by. Also, I got charged for my buildings. So take that into effect. If you have nothing on the farm, then it's only gonna charge you the $60. If you have other stuff on the farm, it'll cost you more. So depending on how big your farm is, you're gonna get charged if you have one day months and you're running these. Olives took two days. So I got charged twice for this, Twice for the farmhouse, twice for the shed, twice for the silo. And I think the bunker silo might not have one, but I could have got charged twice for that too. So I think it was roughly $300 per month I got charged for just the buildings. So an extra $600 plus this was another 120. Yeah, so you get charged a good amount for all the buildings. But it took forever. Now, selling this in here, having these all set for sale or having olive oil set for selling. We made $13,786. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 13 grand, 8,000 liters. That's pretty solid. For delivering it by train, we only made just under 10 grand. So here where there was almost a three grand difference from here to the train. Now I think the train price, which was the, we go up here, olives. Yeah, I think the price was just really low compared to the others. And then when I did it in the sell screen, it might've been just higher. I don't know. It's a weird thing because I haven't seen something drop that much. Usually it's like a thousand off. That one was almost 4,000 off. So there's a big difference. Selling it by pallet, doing it yourself. We made 15 grand. So you made an extra like 1,200 bucks by selling it yourself. So the oil mill will make you money. It will. 
even if you're selling it just as from here and not delivering it, it'll make you a little bit of money extra. Now you still have the cost. It still takes a while to process. It probably took about almost 24 hours to do 8,000 liters. I think if I did 10,000 liters, it would have been exactly 24 hours. But yeah, it's gonna take you a while. Are you gonna make money instantly? No. But over time, you will. Um, but you have to keep putting product in here. So it works good. It has no problems. Um, olives make you a lot of money, but you also could sell them for a lot of money if you need the money in a pinch. So it's really up to you. I really like this. I mean, I I don't know if I'll do it on a Let's Play next time, but we'll see. Maybe ne maybe uh, my next Let's Play I'll have one of these. I know I want to do the bakery on there, so we'll see. But yeah, olives make you the most money, which is expected. They have the best price. Sunflower seeds, second best. Canola, eh, canola's okay. It's nothing great. You only made roughly $1,700 more by selling it in pallets versus selling it in here. And really you only made maybe two grand selling it from the state from a regular place to here so over time yeah that's gonna add up if you have a, a lot of canola and canola does have a good yield so it might be worth it but having the factory 80 grand now there is no secondary to this there it's not like the grain mill has the bakery this is it this is the end game or end goal so if you just want something to pile on some money and you don't need other facilities go for it this will make you money. The oil factory, I think it's worth it. I think you could actually use it and uh, make some money in it. But I would do it yourself if you can. Storage is not bad. These trailers, this is a modded trailer. Oh, I don't have it over here at the moment. Um, but if you come into here and you go to your mods, I'm just gonna go to my trailers. But if you go to the mod hub, this is this trailer I use, the, the one from FS19. I mean, it works perfectly, no problems. I like it because it doesn't have the swivel axle, um, unlike most of the new ones. Uh, let's see, yeah, like these ones, they can do the same thing, but they have the swivel axle, and it's a little more of a hassle. Plus, you can daisy chain the other ones, which I did to get all the product over the train. You can daisy chain them, so it works out. But yeah, I believe it is worth it, so. Hope that was helpful. Hope it added some information here. But that's going to do it for me. I appreciate you guys watching. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. But I will see you guys in the next one.